In this session, we will get a better understanding of group retrieval from the Active Directory. So we learn a little bit about different type of groups, the impact of group membership retrieval, and then we talk about the global catalog and nested groups. Most importantly, understand that your Active Directory has groups and organizational units and that in the access all object we refer to these groups or organizational units. However, you want to understand that there are different type of groups. There are groups of type local domain, global or universal. The use of universal groups has advantages compared to the use of local domain groups. It's important that you understand really the environment you integrate into. So if you know your environment, all fine, create your migration and integration plan, and that's all fine. If not, contact the administrators of the Active Directory, understand the structure and document it before you do any configuration. Because if you are clicking around and kind of guess or hope that things will work, your project will fail. That's a proven fact. If you don't document, your project will fail. So the group membership retrieval mechanism is working between the PDP and the Active Directory logon server. And we have seen quite some queries and responses here. And it all depends on the level of debt we have, on the number of groups a user belongs to, and the configuration that you have applied on your PDP. So group membership query has an impact on the CPU of the PDP, but even on the CPU of the Active Directory server. So part of the planning should be how many login events are happening, how many groups a user belongs to, and if there are nested groups and what is their level. So be careful and make sure you are optimizing the configuration in order to make the best use of the available resources. And one reflection is about local or global catalog. The global catalog only includes refer references of some of the attributes, so it's quicker to find objects. This is something that Microsoft is recommending. The use of the global catalog, please refer to the Microsoft documentation indicated here to learn more. And then configure the checkpoint security gateway PDP instance to use the global catalog. If you cannot use it, have a dialogue why. What is really preventing the customer from making use of this? Otherwise, use the local catalog. Nested groups are groups within the group. You can here see the common name Nessie is part of group 3. That is part of group 4. Two, that is part of group one. So by default, for every group membership, one query will be made. And that is continued by default until the depth of 20. But this has an impact on the logon server that receives the query and of course on the PDP that runs it. And keep in mind, if you have multiple login events per second, per time, this may be a problem. So in case here in an access role object, we have a group referred and we need to understand if this group maybe belongs to other groups. So the user is an SE, the user belongs to demo group three, demo group three belongs to demo group two, and demo group 2 belongs to demo group 1. So this means that we have at least three queries specifically only to understand this 
group relationship. Make yourself familiar with the relevant guides, administration guide and the nested group improvement documented in SK 128212. These improvements have been introduced in latest releases and there is a setting, a setting state 4. This state 4 allows you to retrieve all groups a, a user belongs to using one query. However, it may impact the server depending on the login events you have and depending on the complexity in your Active Directory. So again, listen to the Active Directory server's administrative team, document and research before you start to integrate. 